I just arrived in Petra and I'm in the, the top of one mountain where I can see beautiful city from here. Isn't it beautiful? And just a little bit outside of uh, city center, we saw the, these mountains and caves where the people come and uh, make barbecue, hang out with each other. traveler and uh, so we're starting the tour and uh, the first thing we see right now is something called the gin blocks over there okay. these, uh, these gin blocks uh, the word gin it means like evil spirit and people believe that the spirits protected all the water that used to flow in this area because all the water from the town Wadi Musa uh, would collect and would go this down this pass uh, path sorry and uh, people believe that yeah, these evil spirits protect the water, but it's not this. It's not the truth. It's really a, a so. Truth. This is the evil spirit. The house for the evil spirit. The place for the evil spirit. But these big rocks. These uh, blocks. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. But um, yeah, the archaeology found that it's uh, actually a tomb. It's not for religious people. They believe, or uh, yeah. So it's tombs. It's a tomb. Uh, almost everything in Petra is a tomb. There's not much. It's a big graveyard. <laughs> Actually, the, uh -huh. biggest, the biggest graveyard in the world. Here on the top of this cliff, it's probably not very clear on the camera, but uh, you have a writing uh, carved into the rock. It's in two languages, Greek, and uh, which was the language that everybody had to know in the old days, like English today. To when they're traveling, it's the common language in the world most common one in ancient times and you have Nabataean inscriptions which is the ancient Arabic inscriptions and this explains what that is, this tomb here this is called the obelisk tomb uh, it's a tomb made for a family uh, the top part is like look like spikes, these are called obelisks this comes from, this is very common in Egyptian architecture ancient Egyptian architecture and uh, the four spikes represent four four souls that have died, that uh, are in this tomb. And um, the bottom floor here uh, was supposed to be like the funeral house. Uh, the water from the town Wadi Musa gathers together uh, and walks down this path. Uh, it would, it's supposed to continue down to the Sikh, which is the narrow canyon in Petra. Uh, but that caused a lot of problems in the 60s. Um, a group of 22 uh, French women uh, tourists uh, died in the flood because of the rain along with some local people and some police and they found their bodies very far away so the government uh, had to build a, a dam to redirect the water to go down uh, I think to go down there and this tunnel you, you can see this was made by the Nabataeans because they have the same problem in their, when they when it was raining in their time uh, they, had, they would have floods, the floods would reach maybe about 6 meters high, so it would kill everybody in its path. So instead of this direction, the flood go yes. in that direction. Ancient times, but today... And as I heard, uh, in that time, how the Romans uh, make Nabataeans go out, they put some poison in the water. There's a lot of stories, you know, but the true story, some people say they surrounded uh, Petra for two months, but the water was still coming. And inside Petra, people were still alive, drinking and eating their food, and uh, you know, living normal life. But some they say the story that a Roman soldier was sleeping. He put his head on the ground, and he hears the pipe, water pipe, where the water is moving. And they stopped, they cut the water off from Petra, and then attacked it. 
but people don't know if the Romans uh, uh, fought a war with the Petra and Nabataeans or the Petra people, they were just so very weak, they did not fight and Rome just uh, added them to the empire. No, but this uh, area was very hard to fight because it's very good, Yana. Very they have they have control every path, position, everything. You know, yeah, position, like it's this. very high. Yeah, very high. And so I heard that they uh, they cut the water, they cut the water, or they put some poison in the water so okay. they cannot drink. Yeah. And because it's desert and they stay inside without water, mm -hmm. so they surrender by, by sure. themselves. And uh, one of well, yes, that's probably how the Nabataean Empire ended. Before that, a lot of the enemies when they came, uh, they had a big problem because they're not used to the desert. The Nabataeans, they're okay. This is how they live. They know where they have hidden water reservoirs the enemy doesn't know so what they would tell the enemy would uh, be oh go home there's no water for you and us you will all just die so don't waste your army and your men and stuff uh, just, uh, we'll get back to the uh, army here you have the, called the gate of the sick uh, there's an it used to be an arc here that connected these two sides uh, and yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you can see the, on the side, you have blocks and stone. And how are they put together? Uh, by an ancient cement, you can say. They had their own, they made cement to keep blocks together. Uh, which is 2,000 years ago, something you can say created. Uh, yeah, and you have, of course, no architecture schools, no uh, uh, engineering schools, nothing. Yes, yeah, so nothing in Petra is uh, made, Yane. Like, like you're making buildings now. They just use the mountain and they curve the mountain in the, in the shape of some building and then they dig a, a room inside. So it's like building, but it's, it's nothing added. It's just curved and digged. Right? <laughs> they try to do that in modern days to, to assimilate Petra and to try to to uh, yes. understand how they did that in that time, mm -hmm. but it was very difficult, and they didn't succeed to do that as uh, well as they did in yeah. that time. Uh, how many years ago? Uh, around 2,000 years ago. 2,000 okay. years ago. Before that, but we could just be simple and say it's like 2,000 years ago, about. So around the time of Christ. Yes. Yes. Um, Okay, so right now, we have this canyon here, uh, this canyon is about a mile long. Uh, we, people don't know exactly how it was made, of course it wasn't digged out and carved because it's uh, too far and too high. So one of the uh, possibilities of how it became was uh, that this, this canyon was closed and an earthquake uh, split it apart and uh, water over time uh, was passing down here and it made it bigger and bigger until what we have to do. Like we said, there's the problem of the water that's flowing from the town, and you also have the water that's flowing from the sides of mm -hmm. the mountains. And uh, here, you have, I'm um, believing, like a dam to stop the water, a lot of water that would come by here. Uh, if you had this problem today, of course, you would have had it 2,000 years ago. So the Nabataeans, I think this is actually original. It looks, uh, doesn't, I don't think it's uh, man-made, uh, modern. And um, yeah, so they were very smart people when it comes to water. Thank you. So if they if they don't have these tunnels and these walls, the water will come here, and this horse will be in the water right now. Yes, he will be dead because the water was will be going too fast uh, because it comes from high places in the town. Uh, it comes so fast, uh, you can't control uh, how you're moving. You'll hit the rocks a lot. Um, uh, and you will die. Yeah, and you will yeah, die in a very beautiful place. It's not a place. Yes. In a, in a graveyard. Very, very beautiful place full of uh, graves. Full so, of graves. so you don't you have a grave. Alone. Already you have one. You won't Just pick one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, okay. So uh, this is mile uh, long, and right after this we go in the treasure, treasure. Exactly. Yes, the treasury. 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 Okay, you have. Uh, 
points out here. Uh, 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 you can see the side of the seek, uh, it uh, has like a current uh, waterway in it. Okay. Uh, this side, there's waterways on both sides of the seek. On this side, uh, this water was for everyday use, not very clean water, maybe washing, uh, cleaning the horse or the plants. And every uh, little bit, you have like these uh, big holes in this waterway. People believe this was the filtration system they had. Because uh, when the water falls, any dirt would fall and the water would keep going. So this is another sign of how smart they were when it very, in a very old ancient time when people uh, couldn't come up with these ideas. And uh, this is one of the reasons Petra is so special is because it combines between uh, art and nature, uh, architecture and history. And, uh, and brilliance of the human brain. Brilliance of the human brain. And especially it's what makes you wonder is that the people who made this were camel riders and goat shepherds and they lived in tents before Petra. And of course I don't think and they didn't go to fancy schools and yet they have managed to make uh, something that's very beautiful in our time. In their time of course when Petra was still alive and pre uh, preserved, not still new, uh, you can Im just imagine uh, how beautiful it was. And Thank you. Beautiful today, it was of course amazing, 2000, way better 2000 years ago. Yes, today is beautiful and it's one of the seven wonders, uh, natural wonders, right? Uh, no, not natural. It's okay. man made. <laughs> uh, one of the seven wonders in the world. Yeah. And um, which one? First, second, third? Uh, I, I'm not sure, but uh, I actually was at the party, the celebration party, when the results came out by the treasury. And it was the second uh, site. Uh, I don't know if that means second place, uh, if they got the second most votes, but it came in second. Uh, I think it deserves uh, very well uh, to be a Southern Wonder, because like I said, it's, you don't have all nature, history, architecture, um, uh, art, all in one place. It's such a big place uh, anywhere in the world. I mean, yeah, it's, and, it, and it's what makes it really special compared, I think, to the other world wonders, is that you could actually spend one or two full days here. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else you could do that except for the Great Wall of China, which is great, of course, it's very magnificent, but... Um, here you just go and you find another place and yeah. another story. Exactly. Hello. So, I will stop my camera now to not lose my battery, but to let you know after this road, after one uh, uh, mile, we will see um, treasury. As you mentioned before, there's two uh, on both sides of the seek. You have waterways. On the left, you had the not clean water that was probably used for cleaning, uh, watering the plants. On this side, you have the the water that came in pipes, of course, people believe that this was the drinking water. Uh, there's a, a lot of pipes in Petra. A university came to do like uh, excavations and x-rays and they found about 200 kilometers of pipelines uh, inside Petra and connecting it, Petra, to like outside water sources. Uh, you have a water source that's uh, about five kilometers from here. It's called the uh, Musa Spring and uh, it's a natural water source that the locals still drink from today. And um, uh, there's a pipe that's connected from there to here. Uh, and, yes. and they were taking the water from there? From there, yes. In that time, so? And you can see like there's pipe pieces here, uh, segments, you know? Like here's a seg piece, here's a piece, here's a piece. So. Mm -hmm. And this was again made from cement 2,000 years ago. On this side, you have, it's not very clear, but you have uh, a camel body and feet, it's, uh, and you have a camel shepherd. Uh, you have a shepherd and two camels. Uh, of course, it's just to symbolize how important the camels were uh, in the old times. And so, aha, uh -huh, this is one camel, another camel, and this was shepherd. The camel shepherd, yes. And these were the legs yes, of you camel. Can see the, the feet of the camel. 
and uh, the shepherd is dressed in Roman clothing to show you that the Nabataeans and Romans were really close together before, of course, they became an enemies. Enemies, yes. are. Here we are. Can you see? Yes. <laughs> wow! Yeah. So this is the treasury house. We see here like if uh, this part, it's like triangle. So if it's continue, it will be triangle. It it was uh, it was the style of Nabataeans in that time. Yes. This this is totally curved in the mountain, like all another stuff, uh, like the graves and everything else. But this is the treasury. This is where they keep the gold and everything. We see how they, uh, Yane, the mountain was like this, and they dig the mountain and they curve this shape. It was nothing added. The the columns and everything, it's natural mountain. And inside is one room where they kept uh, all the gold and everything because it was a trading city. No? What? Okay, uh, Maliana, that's very good. <laughs> uh, but, uh, like, yeah, it's all natural, of course. Uh, this was called the treasury, but like I said, the Bedouins, uh, before there was the gin blocks, you have the treasury and you have other places, the Bedouins just gave something a name. They didn't really know what it was, what the purpose of it was. Uh, it was called the treasury. They believed that this was the where the pharaoh had his gold, had his gold in the desert. Ah. Uh, until very recent, the archaeologists they found that uh, it's just a, a monument that uh, honors death. How do they uh, get to that uh, conclusion? Do you have? Uh, it's not very clear, but in the triangle between the two floors, you have uh, like a face. It's very faded. Uh, this is supposed to be Medusa's face, Medusa from the Greek mythology. And Medusa, uh, in ancient Greek, if you see her eyes, you die, or you turn into rock. So that's one sign of death. You have three tombs below the treasury, and you have a lot of... Uh, you have on the first floor here, uh, there's horse riders. These are twins from, uh, I think, Greek mythology also, they're called Castor and Pollux. Mm -hmm. These people guide your spirit when you die uh, to some fields, like heaven or something. So that's another a few signs of death. So okay. Ah, this one is Medusa's face. Yes. The faded. And then you have on the top floor, uh, on, on the sides, Amazon warriors from Greek mythology. This one and this one. Yes, on, they're on both sides. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Amazon warriors, uh, they are from, they're women warriors from uh, Greek mythology also. And in the middle, uh, Aphrodite, the god, goddess of love. In this middle. one? Yeah, right between, under like the center. Here? In the center, uh, under like the circle. Yes, Aphrodite. Ah, uh, this is Aphrodite. But we can get very close. Uh, it used to be open, but uh, maybe they closed it because of the donkeys they keep going up and down and they destroy it. Um, yes, there you go. And we have, like I said, under here, uh, three tombs. Uh, I'm not sure what they're... One has a lot of essence, like the, the thing that you burn that gives a good smell. Mm -hmm. And uh, one is called the window tomb because you have to get in it through a window. And the essence tomb, and I don't know what's another one, I think it's like... Uh, I'm not sure what it's mm -hmm. uh, Inside the treasury... So here, yeah. here is three tombs. One, two, and there's one inside also. Ah, uh, one inside? Uh, underground. You go inside this one. It takes you inside uh, so by a window. One, two, two, and another one. You go inside of this, and you come to the third exactly, one. Yes. Okay. And this floor here, everything you see, it's used to be six meters lower because uh, lower in the Nabataean times. And the X-rays found that there's stairs uh, that go uh, below this ground, six meters below. And uh, how did it? But like the water that keeps on coming brings dirt with it and over 2,000 years the, the floor level kept on going higher and higher until what we have today.
So yes. if you dig, you will find ancient stairs. But if if the water still comes, maybe it covers all this beautiful building and we don't very see it. Lucky, what the Nabataeans do, uh, that, uh, the, in this direction, you have five dams to collect water. Uh, without it, a lot of water, I think, would be flooding here and, uh, like you said, ruining everything in its path. But what's good about the treasury and the reason I think it's still very beautiful today is it's hidden inside the rock. The rain, when it falls, it falls right in front of it, but does not touch it, you know? Yes. Because of the top. Because it go like this it's and inside. don't touch it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, here was where uh, I was right here. When the Petra results came out, there was a big uh, celebration here. I was wearing Nabatean clothes because we had to make a commercial for Petra. <laughs> Me and my brother and I... Uh, had an interview with a channel, I don't know who they are, I never got to see the video. Uh, yeah, and was, I'm really happy that we won. <laughs> uh, here on this side, you have, uh, on this road, it's called the Street of Facades. Facade is like an art uh, wall, and uh, these, are, like we said, are all tombs. Everything in Petra is almost a tomb, and you can see it's something they really cared about. This took a lot of work to do, and this is the tomb for the family, of course, I mean, not guessing one person, and uh, definitely the bigger the tomb, probably the more important the person was, like a uh, very rich or very powerful or something, and um, it's just a saying, but people, or maybe it's more clear over here, uh, on the top of these tombs, you have stairs that go up, uh, down and then up. People say, came up with the, the theory that this is the spirit that's going and leaving life, like, because these are tombs, you know? This is the continuation of the street of Asad. More tombs. Street of Asad? Street of Facades. Facades. Yes, and we see more tombs here. And there, and there in the top of this mountain? Uh, well, I'm not, sure. not sure, but maybe. Uh, in the back, you can see uh, this is the Roman. Uh, no, no, we don't know if it's Roman actually or not. It's a, it's a theater. This is where the people gathered for the events, uh, giving speeches. Uh, uh, Martin or Yanni or somebody. A long time ago. And these are also tombs. Yes. Uh, this is new flag of Nabataeans. Yes, yes, they are still alive and they just make flags today. No more, <laughs> no more nice buildings. Um, so Nabatea, uh, so this is the theater. The theater, yes. And uh, we have a route here. Uh, this. These stairs, we see where the dog is and where those people are coming from up there. Mm -hmm. This road takes you to the high place of sacrifice. But unfortunately, we, our time is very limited today, so I don't think we will be able to... But what it. is there? It's uh, the high... You go all the way to the top of this mountain. Okay. It's uh, where they give sacrifices to the gods. And, uh, and there's a nice, really nice view of all of Petra there, but... Um, it's going to take some time and uh, I'm not sure we have But you to... see where they sacrifice animals or yeah, you there, don't there's see? Like a, there's a, like a small, very small pool and there's a, uh, a circle uh, that looks like a funnel. Uh, a place that looks like a funnel, that's where they put the animal, they slaughter it and the blood would collect and drain down to this pool, fill the pool and this is how they sacrificed, but they did not sacrifice humans because, uh, like the Egyptian people, it was just animals. Yes. And, okay. uh, Thank you. Yeah. So right next to the Roman theater we see a lot of graves and from another side also a lot of graves. All the graves in the stones and uh, all the city in the graves. Uh, there's this woman uh, from Netherlands, her name is Marriott van something, sorry. Uh, she came in the 80s into Petra before it was a World Heritage Site. 
when people were still living in Petra, the Bedouins. Uh, she came here, uh, met a, guy, a Bedouin man uh, named Muhammad, this guy, and uh, he they invited her to stay over at his cave. Uh, they fell in love, they got married, uh, and they, they say that they didn't even speak a common language. So it was just a very simple communication. Uh, she wrote a book and it's in many languages. Uh, she has videos on YouTube about her book. And she's still living in uh, this area today, but not in Petra because the people were forced to move out to a village. But uh, she did this up. She's a grandmother now, and uh, her husband is passed away. And she wrote a book, Married to a Bedouin. Married to a Bedouin. It's a very nice book, you can see. So now we will see a lot of tombs. Yes, these we are called the royal tombs. Uh, are there kings and queens buried in it? I don't know, but that's what the name is. Uh, the first tomb we will see is called in Arabic Al Mahkamah, the courthouse. Uh, people were sent to jail from here, the courthouse. But it's not, it's like I said, everything is a tomb, unfortunately. But the Romans turned it into a church once they took Petra over. Uh, the curved part is from Nabatheans. There's built arcs, we will see when we get closer. Uh, this, this is from, no, from the Romans. And uh, yeah, we now we need to take a bunch of stairs <coughs> to reach there. You can see it's clear that you have a part that's carved, which was the Nabatean tomb, and then the part that was built. This was part of, uh, I believe, the church that the Romans made. Uh -huh. They turned the tomb into a church. So this is the craft part and we are going inside of the made part where the Roman were and make church from uh, this part. This was tombs. Uh, I think actually in here, these areas, this is where the bodies are found. But I don't to make sure. surfers usually and I've done it so many times this past year uh, and every time I go Petra yes it's the same place I should be get, getting bored of it but it's the opposite every time I visit I feel like uh, it becomes more I fall in love with it or let's say I become more emotional about Petra it's really amazing. Courthouse, that's what the locals call it, but it's not. Uh, they call it because it feels like a courtroom, the, the sections here. Uh, uh, it has a beautiful ceiling, natural colors. Uh, the black is, uh, not sure if it's fire, but it could be fire, burned uh, rocks. And of course, the different colors in the rock come from because they have different uh, elements like iron, sulfur. Uh, chem different chemistry. But Romans turned church, church this yeah. one or that one this where whole, we were? Yeah, this whole thing. So they, this was also church? Uh, I think the whole building, yeah, the top and the bottom became one thing, uh, a church. Graves have names. Uh, this one I think is called the Renaissance tomb. Okay. And this one, the urn tomb. Urn is like a vase. And on the top so of it, this one is Renaissance and this one is urn. Urn tomb. Urn is like a vase. There's a urn on the top of the tomb, so that's why they give it the name, urn tomb. I'm about to cross this bridge. Wow. This is a church. That is Byzantine church from the Byzantine area. Uh, when the Romans became the Christian, I believe, uh, you have a lot of mosaics inside here. Uh, a lot of uh, mosaic parts here. We have uh, uh, different animal designs. Almost every animal you can think of they have in here. 
the church was unfortunately burned and uh, reconstructed uh, by a university. And uh, you can see the fish, the duck. Uh, I think that's Greek because you have the phi, the symbol. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that was Greek and theta. And, yeah. uh, this is altar. We see clearly divided. This is where the priest is praying and this part. And this is where the people are standing. It has uh, trade deals, uh, uh, real estate transactions, contracts, uh, property, marriage, uh, uh, stuff. Not this scroll, but all the scrolls in general. And yeah, unfortunately, the church was burned, and this is what they could Sick. survive. the church looked like. This is called the Great Temple of Petra. Uh, it was or, you know, the biggest built building in Petra, the biggest built monument in Petra. It's not carved like the other things we've seen before. Uh, there's a lot of pipelines under the platform there. Uh, it, there's a small theater for the gatherings. It could have been a city center, like a city hall, a city building. Uh, but uh, people mostly believe it, it was a temple. And there was also uh, things they found to defend the building, like, uh, like rock balls that are piled up. So it could have been a, a very important city building that they had to protect when enemies came and attacked them with rocks. In this area there's a lot of uh, blocks, not normal rocks, they look like blocks. And uh, this is where they believe that the houses were built. And because of the earthquakes that hit Petra uh, over the 2000 years, the houses were destroyed. Not like the monuments that were carved, the, what was carved was preserved. Everything that was built was pretty much destroyed with the weather and earthquakes. And uh, ancient historians, like from the Roman Empire or Greeks or the Greek Empire, uh, said that the Nabataeans lived in very luxurious villas, not uh, normal tents or stuff. Because the Nabataean nation was quite rich, and uh, because of its uh, place on the map, it's between the Europe, Africa, and Asia. So it was very important. They made a lot of money from the traders that were coming from these continents. They had to pass through the Nabataean kingdom. We just left one church actually, and there's another one right there in front of us. Mm -hmm. And there's another one called the Blue Church. It's behind us over there. You can't really see much of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, there's a lot of churches in Petra from the Roman times. Over there you have, uh, this is the great temple of the Nabataeans. Uh, it's for the big god, like you know Zeus, but they didn't have Zeus, they had another god, god of gods called Dushara. Uh, she was a goddess, not a man, a god. And this building here, uh, this is, you can see it's built, but it's still preserved till today. How uh, do they manage that? In the wall, they have in the middle of the wall uh, wooden uh, planks, wooden wood. This kept the wall a little flexible, so when an earthquake did come, it was a little flexible. If it was stiff and the earthquake came, it would make it easier to break. So this was very smart from them, and uh, that's why it's still standing to today. This could have been a house in the 80s when people were still living here, but uh, like I said, uh, when the Petra became a World UNESCO's heritage site, 
uh, the government had to move these people, these Bedouins, to a village. The government built these people a village and made them live there. They they built the village for them. Yes, they lived there for free. Um, مش يعني زمان. لا. مش منوها إلكو. Not for free. مش منو الكل سكان؟ لا لا ما. دولة. هي small house and most of people he moved away. New house. He has the story. So. So we just built our house, our own house. We built it. We moved the house from government and we built a new house. Cause too small the house given to us government. So the government give you a small house? Yeah, a small house, just two rooms, one kitchen, one toilet, you know, that's it, this is what he gives. Oh, if I have this from government, I will be happy. But my government don't give me even toilet paper for free. <laughs> and where are we going now? To the monastery? To the monastery, yes, but we need a, like less than an hour to get there still. We have 800 stairs to reach the monastery, it's not an easy trip. Uh, but it's very nice. It's actually my favorite part of the trip. I don't know why. Uh, because it's very painful. Challenge. Yes, it's challenging. So we arrive to the beginning of 800 steps. Mm -hmm. These are the steps. It is, I think, about uh, one kilometer. Like if you if you track them, we will take about 100, one kilometer of the stairs. There's steps. There's 800 steps, and there's a lot of. Uh, Walking. So in our way to the monastery of these steps, we saw one uh, face of the elephant uh, curved in the in the mountain. Hey, hey, Chiki! Look at that! Yalla, bye. Masalami. What is there? What is there? The one you took the picture of, you know? We have time. What is that? This is called the lion triclinium. The lion triclinium. Triclinium. A uh, tri is three, of course. Clinium is like a bench. There's three benches inside, uh, both on the sides and one in the middle. Uh, I believe. And you could see the lions down there, the, down by the columns. Uh, at, by the entrance, you can see the, the lions. It's, uh, lions? Yes. At yeah. the bottom of the entrance, by the door, on both sides. And the face is over there, top of the columns. Uh huh. Ah, oh, we see the faces. More stairs that they are curved in the mountains. Some of them are curved. Some of them are made like these. Beautiful mountains and more stairs. The more Oof. pain you have in your trip, the more you will remember it. I am in the half horse, half donkey. Uh, this uh, good man give me for free hitchhike the mule. Voila, this a lot of stairs. We, I think we're on the wrong mountain actually. We have to go back down. And, uh, yes, and the I, I have to push you out of this cliff. Five minutes left. More graves, more mountains, but no more stairs. The top of monastery. The top of monastery? Oh, we see the top of the monastery there. This is monastery. Uh, it was a Christian monastery for Romans. And uh, inside of this is cross. After uh, Romans and Byzantines, uh, this become monastery. After uh, monastery, there is the best view of mountains and more mountains. Hmm? And? Okay. Yeah, it's more north, also did see.
Uh-huh. Dollar safe this side here. After the little bit of art. Dollar safe. What do you sound? Small door too. If you look also behind you what you could see the prophet Arun, mountain Arun, the highest mountain in Petra. This one? Yeah, little mosque at the top. Uh-huh. And there? There there monastery, the monument. At the there is over there. Monastery? Monastery. Called and at there, we see just the top of it and the city of Petra. Now we are going to camp. So we arrive in our destination. The guys are burning fire, I'm just watching and waiting for my tea. Like a princess. Like a princess, exactly. Khaleesi. Yes. Princess, do you know where you are? I know. I am in the mushrooms. The mushroom Mush mushroom mountain. This, this place it's called Mushroom Mountain. Mushroom. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. We will see in the morning mushrooms and uh, in the morning it will be a lot of... Uh, um, the, it will be like moisturized and like you cannot see. It will be like some kind of fog. If, if we're lucky, we will have a very foggy place here. Uh, if there's moisture, yes, we, we're supposed to have a lot of fog. And it be, should be very nice to see. Yeah, to enjoy. Okay, thank you. And for now, tea. We are making the fire. Woohoo! We are making the fire like in old time. Uh, Jane, you take uh, two stones and you are rubbing the wood Together. against these stones. <laughs> We were doing this for last four hours and finally we have fire. The Badui life. Yes. Welcome. So we are making dinner. We have chai from the fire. And we still have fire and tomatoes which we will eat like apples. Without knife, we have no knife. And hummus and hummus. Tuna. And mm, we hunted the camel. Shy. Saha, guys. Saha al bak. Cheers without beers. Saha. It's a pleasure, of course, to have you here joining us. Thank you. It's pleasure. In the middle of nowhere, I do not know where we are, but it's still a pleasure, of course. It's and pleasure to be invited. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. I appreciate all of the energy and the time and the sources. And music from the car <laughs> and stars, which I cannot show you in the camera, but they are very nice. So, Saha, good morning. We wake up and uh, we wake up, and this is one girl, this is another girl there. <laughs> Yes. And the third girl is still yes. sleeping. And one man. <laughs> and and the uh, and yes. the boy yes. is is still in the sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm going to see the the view. These two girls are calling me. Come and see the view. That <laughs> boo <laughs> And and I will show you. I will show you how is the view. Don't worry. So we are going to see the view from these rocks and Opa. Oh. There is sun here <laughs> Behind this? This? Here? Yes and the uh, wow, view. So we find the mushroom, yeah. and it's. This is where uh, Super Mario lives. Yes. And another one, it's building. They're building it. It's in the middle of the nowhere. This is uh, where it's believed for Moises to hit the rock and the water come out. So this water is connected to <coughs> one place there and the people can drink it. Uh, this water is connected to the spring, Moise spring. 
Uh, it's always changing, so it's always fresh to drink. Now I will try this water. Give me. Bon appetit. Good. Moises good, did a good job. This is the King's Way in Patra. It is the highway where uh, Moses go with all the uh, promised people with Israelites to the promised land. Hey, I know the video about Petra is too big, but thank you for making it until here. And thanks for watching. If you've been to Petra, please wrote me in the comment section how was your experience. Um, ticket for there is like 50 Jordanian dinar for tourists and one dinar for um, locals and other Arabs. Anyway, put the thumbs up and see you in the next video. This would be my next video and this is the video that YouTube recommends for you to watch. So stay tuned and see you till next adventure.